We have somewhere around 60,000 specimens archived. One HIV sample in one place actually is very different from one HIV sample in another place. As these viruses evolve, the means of detecting them has to keep pace. And we're finding things we didn't expect. And overall, we're improving healthcare. That's the goal. The Abbott Global Surveillance Program first started over 20 years ago. Our division was formed out of the development of the very first reliable test to detect hepatitis B in blood. And we went on in 1985, we're the first company to launch an FDA-approved test for HIV. People don't necessarily think of companies as driving this innovation, but this is certainly the case here at Abbott. John is an amazing role model. He has been leading this team for a long time. Both Mike and Mary play critical roles now. Mike related to our virus discovery work. My wife's prescription for getting a good night's rest is, is having me talk about what I do for a living. But I take tremendous satisfaction in what I'm doing. And Mary related to viral surveillance work. She's always wanted to do something that's bigger than herself. It's a global fight. It's a continuous circle too, because as Mike finds a new virus, I then look in our surveillance samples to see if we can find more samples that have it. Abbott tests are used to screen over half of the world's blood supply. Abbott has developed tests that have transformed diagnostics. Seeing us translate to the field and, and benefit medicine is something that's touched our own family. In June of 1999, we were 15 minutes from home. We came around a curve, we're hit head on by another car. Because of the extensive injury, I needed to be multiply transfused. I was in a hospital for two weeks and then in an extended care facility for around three months. It took him a while to be able to even stand yeah. up. Well, it was a tough, tough period, you know, for our family. He's just very strong and he's inspiring to me. Thinking about, you know, how far we go to ensure that there is a safe blood supply. You never know who's going to need it. We're looking for the viruses we know about, but we're also starting to look for the viruses we don't know about. My group was involved in the discovery of a new human Peggy virus. We don't know whether it causes disease or not. Right? I mean, these are very fundamental questions. It's because we're trying to look forward and understand what else might be out there. Having all the information about those tubes, I see the ages, and some of them are, you know, the same ages as my kids. It just reminds me we have to get this right. The nature of research is it's collaborative. It's, it's rarely a single individual. It's a large number of people working together to accomplish something that you didn't think was possible and ultimately really make a difference in people's lives.